Yes, um, we are uh, at the National Olympic Stadium. Uh, I am Ken Gaddafi, the Oracle, uh, reporting for Radio 1 FM 103.7, uh, right here at the main bowl of the National Olympic Stadium, uh, where uh, the final rears are ahead of the uh, first national game uh, in Cambodia is taking place. Um, today, uh, all the teams are from the 25 provinces and two ministries are going to have a dress the Riaza uh, ahead of the opening ceremony uh, which is due uh, for Friday 28 uh, October right here at the Olympic Stadium. Um, also in attendance I uh, will see uh, the, the military uh, team uh, who are going to uh, display the, the martial arts and also we have uh, the uh, youth and the young, uh, the athletes are uh, also uh, going to parade uh, around here. And also, uh, we have in uh, the uh, the Lobakato team from Belti uh, International School, the young, the youths one who are definitely the, the future uh, of Cambodian sports uh, will be uh, displaying the Bakato. And then uh, also we have in uh, the, uh, the cultural dance uh, from the respective uh, uh, cultural troops uh, to display uh, Cambodia's rich culture uh, right here at the National uh, Stadium. And so uh, join me as uh, we take a trip uh, through uh, the preparations and the rehearsals are taking place. Well, uh, the day has started uh, with uh, uh, the opening prayer for uh, using the. Uh, I mean, uh, Cambodia is uh, traditionally a Buddhist country, and so to start uh, off the national games, uh, the minister is here, uh, the representative of the National Olympic Committee of Cambodia are uh, all here, uh, and then they are having the, the prayer session uh, ahead of the rehearsals uh, right here at the National Olympic Stadium. Yes, um, yeah, I, I've caught up with uh, one of the torchbearers uh, for the national game and uh, talking about one of the old, uh, older generation athletes, uh, Mr. Pempat. Uh, and this uh, is what he has to say ahead of this game. Um, hello, Mr. Pempat. It's good to find you here today. Um, how do you feel looking at Cambodia having the first national games? Yes, I'm very happy today. I see everybody uh, uh, stay here and I'm very happy. Yes, Good. Yeah, also uh, uh, right here, also present is uh, uh, Chan Vatanaka, one of the mercurial uh, strikers in Cambodia. Just recently, he scored uh, two goals uh, for Cambodia to, to pass through to the AFF Suzuki Cup. Yeah, and he's going to uh, carry the torch uh, through uh, to the uh, National Stadium and, and then hand it over to his colleague. And so, uh, uh, this is what uh, he has to say uh, on this occasion uh, about. Uh, the the games uh, uh, he said uh, this even going to help uh, improve and develop the other kind of sport in Cambodia. And because uh, sport needs uh, training and competition, it's important to have a competition. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope there are a lot of uh, best players going to show up uh, in this event. Even they are not playing in a big uh, team, but uh, they're going to show by this event. Okay. How does it feel uh, being one of the touch bearers for this uh, first game? I feel happy and proud that I was chosen to be the one who was holding the torch for the national game. Um, obviously, he's not going to play, um, but will he be around to watch and see uh, maybe some players will be aspiring to become the next Chamba Tanaka? I don't want to be the same level with me, but but I want them to be more professional and better than me. <laughs> <laughs> 
cái lá chết lợp tí mũi cứ vì bất chì chấm rung ao cái lá co cái lá cái này chấm nón khói rồi chia bị à lỡ quạt miên vô đăng bị bắt bị sao cái nông cạn bị cuốt rồi chia vô đăng bị bắt bị sao nên cái nông bị nay bị bị cuốt rúm quạt vô đăng chớn hai cái quạt này cầm láng chết nằm bay thua cao bạc hạt của tha cái lá co bản thân chỉ ăn miên ca bạc cuốt quạt co thôi thôi anh cái lá hay chăng cái nào mà bàn tay nhưng cái tha pi chứ nào mà đón xem đẹp cái lá chiết này cứ thua pi chứ nào mà đón tầm đón là đón pi quan mà phải bay chăng nhưng cái tha bạc cuốt bạc hạt chia không răng bay bạc hạt bắt đầu tiền nằm bay cho rùm do mình đây nữa cái nông cái lá chiết nằm bay chụp tơ pi quan mà phải bay Good chance to uh, for the people uh, for the young uh, generation to get experience in this uh, kind of event, yeah. and they can uh, develop that themselves and train more, okay. and uh, aiming to uh, attend the Sea Games in 2023. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the happy when you say saying you happy when you are 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 không bắt cua game xem xem là mấy thua chưa cầm rượu đó mấy mấy trò nón thôi ai quạt do cầm rượu tan còn chưa ai quạt thật không bằng trái ở chỗ đông bắt cua nơi kẹp này quạt ở ban tránh hay quan nón dọc nơi là tập hợp ở chun và tay cầm chìa. Do đây là Olympic medal yet but I will try my best and I'm going to be more training and we'll get the medal from the Olympic and let the younger generation to follow my simple yeah my my simple. How does she feel being the first person that that will light the, uh, the, the national game in Cambodia. ສໍາລັບຍົມຍົມປັດຊິລົມເພີບລົມເພີບຊຽງມານກັນຕົງຊຽດໃນ I feel very happy and uh, also happier than the, the time that I'm holding the flag at the Olympic game. And I'm also uh, kind of uh, happy and to be proud that I was chosen to be the one who torch, uh, holding the torch and in this uh, kind of big uh, national game and the first game in Cambodia. Uh, one last question. Um, she's not going to compete, uh, but will she be watching the Taekwondo event and uh, uh, hoping that she can find some young athletes that can become the next ສໍາລັບຍົມຍົມກັນຖ້າອ້າຫຼາຍລັ້ງຍົມມາຕອນບານ I have been uh, like absent from watching any young player for around three years already, but this year I might spend time and watching them and uh, find out who is the best one. And it's possible I will choose them to train with me. Okay. Um, also, uh, we caught up with uh, Prakmoni Udom, another mercurial striker, who is also going to uh, be among the uh, the torch bearers uh, to bring the flame into Cam the torch into Cam uh, the national stadium. Uh, he is also happy. He's proud. He's delighted for this opportunity uh, to to be among the, the torch bearers and she is um, obviously looking forward uh, to the games. Of course he's not playing but he believes that uh, some of the players that will be discovered here will eventually rise up to the occasion uh, to become uh, top stars uh, for Cambodia. Uh, well, uh, we can see that the, uh, the, the military men are already at uh, the center uh, where they are uh, rehearsing and preparing uh, their martial arts and then also uh, here are the uh, the youth uh, from the Belty International School who are going to uh, parade, uh, I mean, perform in terms of the Bokato. Uh, Bokato is Cambodia's traditional sport and uh, this is something that the country is very proud of and they want to uh, promote not only in Cambodia but internationally uh, within the region as well as even globally. And also um, the, uh, the dance group, the gymnastic groups are, are also performing right here and then uh, uh, the cultural dancers uh, will eventually uh, perform. Um, well, we also caught up with the Minister uh, of Education, Youth and Sport, uh, talking of Dr. Ang Chanaron, and uh, this is what he has to say uh, concerning to the Games.
think I think the the most important thing is the school sport. You know? So we also start to renovate infrastructure at the school level, train the school uh, trainer at the school level. That school sport enough you know, to encourage them and link the physical education, you know, healthy lifestyle to to really specialized sport like uh, basketball, football, uh, volleyball, taekwondo, karate do, even uh, Cambodian martial art, uh, Cambodian boxing, etc. So link that physical education at school level to the sport and then strengthen the federation. And the federation, the one who find the seats, you know, for the the best sportsman. Yeah. Uh, and and it means that also the focus on sport for all. Yeah. The sport for all, not just you know, uh, not just uh, the uh, the high level sport. Of course, win the high level sport, right? But also the sport at the school level, and especially sport for all. You know, old people also yeah, yeah, sport. Yeah. Young people also sport. I think that make us happy last time. And more importantly for young people. Yeah. Why young people? To get them away from drugs. You know, drug, you know, is, you know, a very dangerous for Cambodia. Yeah. For the future of the young people. By gay engaging, promoting sport for all, sport school and high level sport, we can promote a healthy lifestyle. We will reduce the cost of health expenditure, yeah. you know, with health healthy lifestyle but also we want to have give you know opportunity for for, for students for young people from from disadvantaged background to become star to become champion sport it's also equalizer to make them you know I think inclusive you know because even if they are poor but sport give them hope give them you know you know like uh, they should not be depressed you know they should be active then they change their life yeah. like uh, Son Sin Mei you know, she come from you know not a very you know uh, I think oh uh, poor background yeah. I would say you know but through sport you know investing like, five years only five years she become a star now yeah. you know, she's more famous than all of us you know even a minister is not famous like her so it means that sport gives you a chance to become champion and it's a role model for society you know healthy lifestyle you know you know you have to a role model should be okay you you poor but you work hard you can become star you know so hard work Okay. Yes, uh, so we, uh, we have heard from uh, most of the players, uh, uh, the athletes, uh, the officials, uh, and uh, we've seen uh, exactly what is going to happen on, on Friday 28th, uh, right here at the National Olympic Stadium. Uh, of course, uh, the games uh, will, uh, uh, will officially be declared open by His Excellency uh, Samdek uh, Hussein. And uh, we expect our uh, entourage of uh, guests uh, to be here on, on Friday. And the, the stadium is about 60,000 capacity, and hopefully it's going to be filled to the brim. Uh, the VIP stands, as well as the popular size, uh, will all be occupied right here at the National Olympic Stadium. Uh, this is a landmark event uh, that is taking place right here in Cambodia. Uh, the game started actually uh, earlier today uh, with the basketball event and some other events uh, in the respective venues like table tennis, uh, like uh, badminton, and, 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 and obviously basketball. Uh, as we can see, uh, the teams are already uh, are in the mood of the games. But right from Friday, uh, once the game is declared open by Samdek Hussein, we will expect uh, to see more and more excitement uh, from the fans, uh, from the athletes, and of course, it is a thing of glory if medals are won for the respective provinces. Well, but for now, uh, we expect that uh, you guys will sit back and continue uh, to cheer uh, for the winning teams uh, in these uh, national games. Uh, it's been Ken Gaddafi uh, reporting uh, for Radio 1 FM 103.7.